not gonna put that on you. <laughs> I'm only gonna put all the flubs. All the flubs, but not the not the not the dubs. dubs. Yeah. All the flubs, no dubs. Yeah, that's our new that's our new slogan. All flubs, no dubs. <laughs> put that on a shirt. Put that on a shirt. All <laughs> flubs, no dubs. <laughs> Fucking big old text right here. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pub Crew with Ryan and Vic. I'm Vic. That's Ryan. That's right. My glass says so. <laughs> In case you haven't seen those. Woo! So I'm super excited. Me too. So yeah, welcome to another episode. Uh, hope your all's week has been good. Mine's been pretty good. Has yours been good? Mine's been great. Oh, it's good. Yeah. I mean, that's good. great. Yeah. It's been <laughs> it's pretty better, good. right? Yeah. Like, on scale? Right? Yeah, I've been watching uh, eSports for like the past seven days. So all week. Yeah. So from the last time I saw you, pretty much. Yeah. To now, it's just been esports. Mm-hmm. That's just cool. all esports. Mostly Valorant. Oh. There's so many regions that are duking it out right now. In Valorant, is it yeah. like their, their their seasonal thing? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. It's like their Masters. So I think gotcha. it's like all the regionals have to duke it out to earn a slot at Masters. That makes sense. Yeah. So So it's it's. For for those of you who who want a comparison, it's all leading up to their Super Bowl. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And there's That's what like, it sounds like. there's like three little mini Super Bowls in between. In between and that, like before that, <laughs> the three mini Super Bowls leading up to yeah. the Super Bowl. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's super dope. I'm super excited. I don't want to talk about it because there's so many <laughs> but you regions. Just did. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't want to get in depth with it because one, oh. it's going to be boring to anybody that's not into trying e-sports. to read that. Two, yeah. I mean, it's very convoluted because there's so many regions. Three, I'm a Hundred Thieves fucking super fan. So, of course, they're going to win. Hundred Thieves, baby. Hundred Thieves, baby. Wah, wah, wah. Woo, woo. I don't know. I'm just, I'm yeah. just happy for you. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm just supporting you because I don't know these teams. Yeah. No, they've like, been yeah, doing really good. Uh, Hundred Thieves has been one of NA's best teams. Oh, okay. And uh, they have my boy Hiko on it, Hiko. who I've been following since like Complexity and CSGO like six Tag years him. ago. Let him know this episode. Yeah. Is. Let him know we're here. Yeah. Let him know that big boys support big boys. <laughs> Big boys loving big boys. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> he used to be a big boy. One. Yeah. Now he's like slimmed down, which is super good. Slim thick. Supporting yeah. Th- <laughs> yeah. Dude. So anyways, just 100 Thieves is going to win it all. I don't care. NA is going to fucking stomp the competition, even though Korea is looking pretty good. And uh, Is that where it's at right now? Europe like, is, is, is that like the, the big ones right now? It's, it's tough because like there's so many esports and like, Valorant is competing against Counter Strike, and a lot of the European Counter Strike oh, pros, yeah, they didn't jump ship to Valorant. A lot of NA pros jumped because NA CS:GO is like a Shit toilet, show. yeah. And um, yeah, a lot of them went to Valorant. So Valorant has a lot of raw talent. I definitely think uh, NA. Uh, Korea though has been sneaking by some sick ass plays. Like from what I've watched. Like the whole time, um, there's just a lot of regions. Brazil is also pretty good because they have oh. so many contenders, and they sort of uh, exploded onto CS:GO scene. So now that they have sort of an equal footing, I'm very excited to see what they're gonna roll out. But that's been my uh, analysis. We should be for... esports casters. Uh, dude, I would love to. I I would love to be an esports. <laughs> I'll learn a game just to learn how to eat cast on mm-hmm. it. <laughs> yep, yep. But yeah, that's good. That's all I wanted to talk about for Valorant. Uh, hey, that's why I've been having such a great week. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I've, I'm still doing the the ranked queue solo queue, so that's super fun. So you got that going for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super excited. Everything's looking up, Vic. Yeah, even though I think like hundred thieves lost. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like yeah. Shit. Yikes. Yeah. Well, there's that. I know it's fine. What a way to bring the week to an end. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Super good. Because they won the first one, so they're automatically qualified to go to Iceland, which is like their major. Oh. Okay. So Hundred Thieves doesn't really have to win the next two challengers or the next challenger because they were already qualified, quote unquote. They made the qualification. Yeah. yeah okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. So it's super sick. That's dope. Yeah, I'm super excited. You know what I'm excited about? What are you excited about? This beer. Oh, dude, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Today we have a uh, what is it? Alt 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 Hefe. 
to Hefeweizen. <laughs> Hefeweizen. Out of uh, Fredericksburg, uh, Texas. It's a 5.2%. I have not tried it yet. It just looked good. And it's a Hefeweizen. I don't want to I expect, pour. I expect weedy tastes. Oh, dude. Oh, this smells like, uh, like Germany. No, it smells like <laughs> little Germany. Oh, you did do a full pour. I did a full pour because I don't want to have to reach. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's cool. There you go. You're good. Bam. I didn't do a full pour because I thought it'd be nice to showcase the pub and then the crew. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just kidding. But see, I'm left-handed, so I have to do this way anyways. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Well, that works out, because cheers. Cheers, cheers. See how that works out? <laughs> yeah. Cheers to everybody at home. Just remember, you don't have to drink to chill with the pub crew. But, but it, it helps. It helps. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that is definitely bready. That definitely is so bread. bready. But it's, it's like a... Bad. It's not bad. It's like a... Like Kellogg's. Yeah. Like I'd put this in a bowl of cereal, dude. I would. I would just. I want to drink from a bowl just to be like. <laughs> and it looks super fucking. Do you trippy. think I have to ask you just because I've seen I've seen this many times, appropriate, right? Yeah. Holding it like this. Just as I do that, right? I do that too, but I know that it's bad because all the heat from your hand is just warming is up. That warming beer. up the beer. So right. I know it's bad, but I put it in. This is like you're about to down this bitch. Yeah. Like, this is the, it's going down. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm about to play the Fallout Boy because it's <laughs> going down. Sugar, <laughs> sugar, it's going down swinging. Mm -hmm. And this is the, I'm just here to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I definitely agree. Especially those who have uh, very limp wrists mm. might not want to hold it from here. Yeah, especially on a full mug. Yeah. And this is the what's wrong with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one is just like, I am. I see you, <laughs> but I don't acknowledge you. <laughs> this is the, yeah. I just, I lost all control of yeah. my life. And this is the, I'm getting there. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting too drunk. This, oh, yeah. This, this is the type this... of people that you cut off. Yeah, when they're like. This is, I need my other hand to hold it steady. <laughs> and they're bringing their head so yeah. close to the glass. Yeah. Oh, they're man. in fear of spilling, so they're just like, just be cool. Yeah. Be cool. <laughs> Play cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't lose your shit here. This is the yeah. fine establishment, sir. This is a Hooters. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I was there last night. Oh, how is it? Good. Was there ass and titties everywhere? It was Hooters. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. They have Carbock on tap now, which is nice. That's fucking dope. I th yeah. Did you know? Uh, did you ever get taken to Hooters when you were in high school? Yeah, I know. <laughs> really? Yeah, through I various degrees of my childhood. I never did. No? No, and that's why it tripped me out, because I was like, yeah, everybody went to Hooters when they were in middle school. And I was like, was I just, like, a good boy? Was I just, like, did nobody take me there? I don't, you know, the thing is, I can't remember, and, and I could be wrong. My folks probably let me know. I can't recall if my dad ever took me. Mm. I only remember ever going with friends oh parents. like that's that's what that's you what know the cool parents did exactly because like, it was like we were hanging out or like we were like part of like a, a thing right after school and they'd be mm -hmm. like oh you know like hey, you know right i want to come I'm like yeah hell yeah we're yeah. already hanging out and they're like hey we're gonna go to hooters all right then asked my parents <laughs> be like hey i'm gonna go with so-and-so's like we're gonna go eat they're like okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> why would you I, exactly <laughs> and it was a great time <laughs> yeah oh man I, mean, I was kidding. I didn't fucking know. I just got wings. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm like. Was it, man? I don't know if it was just like such a sexualized world that I didn't know about it because I wasn't like super like I, I mean, wasn't having sex at 13. <laughs> you know, well, <laughs> like, I okay. knew people who had the sex. The but sex, yeah. But I like I wasn't part of of that. Group, you weren't like, part of that 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 uh, group. No, you didn't get your membership. No, I wasn't oh. part of. Uh, the you didn't pay the twenty nine ninety nine. No, I'm just kidding. You paid twenty nine ninety nine. Band geeks though, like band yeah. geeks were like some of the first that I like knew were like sex. <laughs> yep, trombone right up there. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Oh, shit. So yeah, that's what, I don't know why I brought that up. I just thought it was weird because it was a weird thing that I talked about that just stuck in my head. It got engraved in there, but I never right. got to go to Hooters. I've only gone to Hooters like twice. Yeah, like before yesterday, it was literally maybe like two years. Yeah, since the last time I went, it just seems crazy. Like if there's, <laughs> I want that wall of security that lets me know that maybe people aren't just being nice to me for the tips, <laughs> because yeah, it is so blatant when you go to fucking ass and titty places. It's true. Or banana hammock places. Banana I'm not gonna judge. Hammock places. Like I'm not gonna judge. Let me know any banana hammock places. <laughs> I want to make sure like tips a chip are being and, like a Chippendales restaurant. I don't think we got one here. No, but we can make one. That's we can called make one. half chubs. The... <laughs> half chubs. Oh half man, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. We sell ribs. Yeah, hell yes, we got half ribs. Chubs ribs. <laughs> Get yourself and, some half chubs and ribs. Brats and the brats and a lot of penile looking mm-hmm. things. Sm- smoked sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a brat? Nah. You gotta try the smoke side. And then we'll have one like El Gringo, and it's just mm. like paired with like, <laughs> like white sauce and mm-hmm. like <laughs> two eggs. Yeah, <laughs> two eggs your way. Yeah. Fuck yeah, we're incorporating breakfast foods. Yeah. Oh man, that's so good. Uh, yeah. Leave a comment down below if you want to if you wanna invest in half chips. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Oh man. Oh man! So this has gotten off the rails very quick. We weren't on the rails to begin oh, with. Yeah, you're I right. think like I don't think we were on the rails to we get did, off the. You rails. know what? You're right. We did the intro. We recovered, and we just and we're good. We yeah, poured the beer, and it, you're, I think we're on track. To be honest, no, with you're you. very right. We left the station, and like we're, we're just coasting along now. Mm-hmm. Everyone is happy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got this. Yeah, yeah. Happy. Oh man, that was super fun. So. I mean, I talked about what I wanted to bring up. <laughs> Some random fucking nonsense. In the intro? Yeah. Your whole intro was what you wanted yeah. to talk about. And now about. we're done. And now we're, we're good. Wrap it up. Let's yeah. go. We're going to go to Origami, Isaki. Or, 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 is Origami? Origami. Origami. Or, origami. Or, origami. Or, origami. Or, stop. Like you said. <laughs> I just stop. can't. I'm going to stop. Stop origami. changing. But it's just that people say origami. Or, we're, we're going origami. Because they're, cause they're American. American. Because you got to say it in English. No, A, it's Merc. <laughs> Merc, you're right. Origami. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, what are we talking about today? <laughs> well, something I want to bring up that happened kind of recent, but we shouldn't get to talk about, but I want to bring it up, get, get your opinion on this, and of course everyone else's opinion at home. So one thing I, I recently saw was Sony was gonna close down the PlayStation Three and Vita stores, mm-hmm. and they were pretty adamant, like, "Oh, it's gonna shut down. Like, we're done supporting them." Which that sucks, you know, for people who do play them. I and mean, I actually know there's market for them. People still play those games, and it sucks if you bought things on them because you you weren't gonna be able to play them. Yeah, but they actually admitted that they were wrong, and they backtracked, and now they're gonna stay open. Don't know for how much longer. But they're still going to stay open. So that's good news for everyone that was worried about losing all their digital downloads and mm-hmm. stuff. And that's a big thing. Because that that's the exact point that I raised 20 years ago. When they were like, man, games these games in like five years are going to be purely digital. Yeah. And I'm like, that's bad. And they're like, no, it's going to save us so much space. And I'll just buy storage for it. And it's going to be great. Until they close down the store. Yeah. And, and then, then what are you going to do? You're not going to get to play those games. You yeah. didn't... The only way you play them is if you already had them downloaded. You paid for an, an a ticket to play the game. You mm-hmm. didn't pay to own the game. Nope. And that's, that's the fucking difference. Why... Digital rights are different. Yeah. And I think it's a little upsetting with the way people want to buy digital content opposed to physical content, because I completely understand why you, you want to buy physical, because I still buy physical. I do buy digital here and there, depending on the game. But at the same time, it's like I prefer physical for that reason that I want to make sure I can pop this in someday and just play it. Mm -hmm. Not have to worry about, oh, I have to reissue licensing rights. I have to have them validate my fucking account. You have to be connected to the Internet. Yeah, to be able to play this game that I you took my money for and that's what's upsetting is it's the same price yeah 70 dollar ps5 game digital or physical yep same price mm-hmm. same shit just one you get a disc 
And of course, they try to advertise it to you as like, oh, well, you save the space and the waste and go digital. Right. But I could lose that game potentially at some point. Because, and that's happened to people where some bullshit fucking error occurs on their account or something doesn't check right. The license mm-hmm. doesn't get restored properly. And now they're fucked. They don't get that game or they get locked out of their account. Yeah, that's why I've been like, ever since Microsoft and Sony started doing the free games per month. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you guys, like, you're getting those free games as long as you subscribe. As, yeah. Like, before, like, and it's the same thing. But it's just like, this time it's against retails. And it's like, hey, you could get this retail, and it's going to still install on your fucking console. Because, I mean, God knows people don't put fucking enough data on consoles these days. Right. <sighs> but, <laughs> like, you, you could, it'd be so much easier. You don't even have to put on pants. No. But, like, as soon as the system goes down, or Sony's in- interface goes down, like, the... You're fucked. Yeah. yeah there goes your game. There yeah. goes the, your, your license to that game mm-hmm. now. And that's... that's... Now you don't get to play that game that you just spent money for, and they're not going to give you money back for it. That's why I'm super glad that, like, at least for some PS4 games, you can play offline. Yeah. Like, even digitally, like, Darkest Dungeon is one of my favorite games to just play offline. All the Souls... Boring games you can play off. Oh yeah, which definitely. is weird. I mean, yeah. it I love kind of takes away from it a little does bit. Does it? Okay, we need to add that discussion at the end of this episode. Yeah, it kind of does. And not to me. I like the world of me being alone. I got and, you. And like not, but it's a double edged sword because you're not getting help besides some of the NPCs. Oh, we're not even saying help. Yeah, I'm just but, saying challenges. Yeah, but like the PvP side of it. If it was a more robust PvP system, then I'd mm-hmm. be into it. You're right, but it. Oh, are, are we gonna are we gonna talk about this right now? No, let's we'll, we'll say that for later. Back? Okay, we'll yeah. say, oh, like cause I'm about to go. Yeah, like, boy, that's let's, fucking. No, let's let's talk about that a little later. Uh, okay, but definitely like having man, especially like PS3s and PS Vitas. Like, I don't know who uses PS Vitas, but PS3s are super popular all around the world still. Like, especially when it comes to like other countries that don't get the for the latest generations at the same yeah. time that we do um, that, like it's still a viable market now i understand like why you would want to close down granted i know they haven't had anything new for it yeah but there's still a lot of great games on there that you would still want to pick up if you never had the chance and plus to. ps3 is backwards compatible with ps2 and ps1 uh, a the certain old? Yeah, yeah like the first gen of ps3 okay. work. so yeah so it still fucking works Oh man, fucking! I forgot to bring the PS3 that we were supposed to fix. Remember? Nope. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm like, no, but I'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, shit. Yeah. Okay, just let me know. Yeah. So I mean, question was I drink when we talked? <laughs> I think so. It's a yeah, it's a bummer. Go. It's a bummer, but I'm glad that the stores are still on for the people that need it. Yes. Because I'm sure while server space might be costly, I hope that the people who are still using the active user base of PS Vita and PS3 people offsets that. I still have my Vita. It's, it was a cool, like, portable console. I mm-hmm. liked it. I could see the potential in it, but it never got the... Su- I feel like it never got the right amount of support that it needed. You know? Because it, it didn't have, a like, a killer app. No. It didn't have, like... It could have. It could have supported it. And that's what's upsetting is it was essentially like a smaller tablet or smartphone. It, it, like there was even a 3G, 4G model of it that came out at one point. Damn. Yeah, if you paid, it was a little more extra. But I, I just got the Wi-Fi only because I'm like, mm, I'm usually just playing Wi-Fi anyways. But like it could have supported that killer app or, or something to that extent and would have been great. And it was a fun little little console. And I liked the games that came out for it. I think it's where I first played the Rayman Legends and Origins, and then I got it on oh, PS4. Yeah. So I was Ooh, like, yeah, it would be cool playing on console. But at the same time, like, that's where I played like, a lot of those games. Like, oh, these are cool. But it just never got the right amount of support that I feel like it deserved. Mm-hmm. So that's unfortunate. I mean, I'm glad they're not shutting down the store for it. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to bring back the Vita <laughs> anymore. Yeah, no. Because that I think they already discontinued manufacturing on it, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. So it's it's done for the most part, but at least for those who still enjoy it, you still get to enjoy it. Yeah, 
Uh, especially, like, I don't know. I just want to say, like, I don't know how people... Because there's a lot of people like me who don't jump onto, like, the first next big thing. You wait. Yeah, I wait. And um, right. I feel like there's still people who are like, well, no, PS4 never brought out any games that I ever wanted to play. Like, I'm just playing PS3. Like, it's still the fucking shit because it had so many games. I, I was about to say, like, you're right, but I kind of disagree with that because PS4 brought out a lot of good games. Bloodborne. <laughs> That's true. But maybe it's just somebody that was super obsessed with Japanese RPGs, and they're like... Yeah, and then, and which that's is, a fair argument. Which is usually the type of person that still has their PS2 but, and PS3. It's and they're like, Dreamcast. no, <laughs> I like playing Tales of Blank, Dragoon, Blank... blank XC, of, uh, EX. Yeah. Um, uh, Tales of ED. <laughs> story of Zelda. Mont, 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 Montley Crew. Yeah, put a logo for that. <laughs> Disque, uh, Xeno Chronicle. Oh yeah, those were on PS3. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, that's true. Digimon World. I think there were some of the Persona games that came out. On oh Vita. yeah, 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 yeah. So and they were only on Vita or PSP that you could play on Vita, mm-hmm. which was a little bit better. So that makes sense too, because yeah. where else are you gonna play them? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be your, or because you could technically play those games on PS3 as well. That was the cool thing. Like, there was kind of interchangeable. Oh, yeah. I remember so, that. So, like, that kind of makes sense, too. So, you're right. It's for that very specific market. But I get it because it's actually pretty big. Yeah. Oh, and it was enough to me? raise a, a shitstorm for Sony weeb, to be like, man. we're wrong. Sony's yeah. like, look, look. All right. All right, you weebs. You keep your shit. Yeah. All right. We're sorry. Shit. Yeah. Plus, I don't feel like it would cost them that much to just no. leave, like, a little bit on, like, for PS3's mm-hmm. stuff. Because, I mean, honestly, you're not going to have a fucking DDoS attack on PS3 servers. Like, you're not going to have, like, all that type of shit, you know? No. They'd be targeting something else. Yeah, exactly. And they're not going to go for that. They're they're going for the new ones, Mm -hmm. because that's where everyone's current accounts are. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, that's kind of... I mean, good on them for acknowledging a fuck-up, you know? I'm happy it's still there. Yeah, I'm never going to use it. Never used it, but I'm I glad used it in a long time. somebody somewhere is still getting use out of mm-hmm. it. And I'm glad you get to be happy about that mm-hmm. if you're watching this. Yeah. I'm glad okay. for you. you Let won, us know you down won below leave, if, if yeah. you're okay with it. The, I'm okay one, with the it. one person that uses PS3 stuff. And Vita stuff. Yeah. <laughs> still use Vita, let us know down yeah. below. Or let don't. me know, because I'll... I'll type a comment I'll down it up and I'll using charge your it. Vita. Yeah. <laughs> I'll charge my Vita up and we can play games. <laughs> we'll play Metal Gear. Hell yeah! What was it? The one for oh, PSP Vita? The, the Sun? No, not Sun's Liberty. No, Peace Walker. Peace Walker. Hey, Peace Walker was good. Hey, you know what? I never played it. I had never played. It had any a whole Metal Monster Gears. Hunter. I've never played Metal Gear, so I would have known. Oh, I, I played the original Monster Hunter thing. Oh, that's cool. Like Monster Gosh. Hunter is. Fucking like oh, a Monster Hunter across cheese grating, yeah. Like it's not at all friendly. No, to people. So and that's why like, I, oh, I can get into Monster Hunter. No, you can't. Mm, I I love stuff that's convoluted like that, but I would still not get into it just because once you get into like people use three types of weapons out mm-hmm. of the twenty two, and I'm like, that's not that's not really fun now, is it? <laughs> like, like, if you're using anything but those three, you're wrong. Yeah, exactly. And you're probably going to have a bad time mm-hmm. playing this. Yeah, I know. I knew that when I wanted to play like a fucking big long sword, like double hand sword. Yeah, guy. yeah. That's what I wanted to go in yeah. with. And I'm like, this isn't working. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw the fucking um, hammer shit. And I was like, okay, I'm down for that too. Nope. Still, no one uses a hammer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought about a hammer too, cause I'm like, why not? I like yeah. whapping shit. And if you're not using damage. dual blades, you suck. Pretty much. Yeah. So that's why here, you noob. I'm never gonna play it. Or or even the longbow. Yeah. Mm. Longbow's good though. Like I yeah. see people using that, but then that's like two different. Yeah. I don't know. So anyways, I'm glad <laughs> that the ten people who still use PS3 <laughs> and PSV get to keep their get store. To keep their store. Cheers to you. Good on you, man. Oh man. So what else are we talking about? Um 
Oh, is it just whatever I have? Yeah, yeah, dude, like, all the topics that I have are, like, five-minute topics, which is why we, like, took care of them in the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, oh, yeah, I thought this was interesting, just because it, it's kind of like a slap in the face to Microsoft. Uh, they're no longer in talks to buying Discord. Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> their, their original offer when they were in the talks with buying Discord was upwards of, I think, was it 10 mil or? I think 10 million. Yeah. Yeah, just north of 10, no, 10 billion. 10 billion, holy 10 shit. 10 billion, and Discord said, go fuck yourself. <sighs> Man. I think it's, I think it's great. Yeah, because, I mean, Discord Microsoft don't need Discord, and Discord don't need Microsoft. Yeah. That's for damn sure. I think that's the better way to look at that is, yeah, Microsoft doesn't need Discord, but Discord don't need Microsoft. Yeah. Discord is doing just fine on its own, to be honest with you. Yeah, Discord would become bloatware. And you don't want that. Discord's actually good. Mm-hmm. We use it. Yeah. Like, and it's it's great for, like, having your own little servers for, like, different things that you want, you know. Yeah, but imagine, related. imagine Microsoft pushing that towards, oh my God. towards workspaces. Like, that's would, exactly where it was going to yeah, go. Yeah, you know, to. yeah, because you already know that's what they were going to do, right? Like, the, they were already going to put it proprietary to all their shit. And, yeah, Discord. Fuck, man. A- Enterprise Suite. Yeah, you'd be Dis- at work. You'd be at work, and then you'd have to somehow you get onto the new Microsoft. Which doesn't app. allow any fucking GIFs <laughs> yeah. and emojis, you son so of a bitch. So it would be a dumbed down Discord chat yeah. server that you're on with your coworkers like because it, it got integrated into your Microsoft account yeah. for work that you can't do shit because with. Because team sucks or something. Yeah. I mean, I feel that was a good move. Yeah. I mean, 10 billion's a lot, but 10 billion Discord, is a lot. I think they know their worth. I think they know what they're doing. I think they just didn't want to lose what they had. Yeah, well, they would completely lose all that. Like, Discord would just change. Like, yeah. entirely. I, I'm not even, like, being dramatic about that. Like, if Microsoft owned them, it's going to be completely changed. And, like, if you had it on your phone right now and you used it through, like, the app on your phone... Yeah, you would need a Microsoft account. Yeah, they're going to make you tag it to your Microsoft account, and then it's going to be tagged to all that, and you're going to see all your Xbox shit, all your Xbox friends, all your Microsoft Yeah, accounts. which is fucking... Funny because thanks to the Microsoft account, I lost my Minecraft. I don't like I bought Minecraft in the alpha, so I signed up with a Mojang account. Same right? here. Yeah. And I don't have my original Mojang account. And anymore. then when I'm like, you can transfer your Mojang account into a Microsoft account, I'm like, I already did that. It's this one. And they're like, nope. Yeah. I lost, I lost my shit too because yeah. I, I, that pissed me off when I was trying to get it on my PC. I was like, oh, fucking yeah. I, I, had, I was on it since alpha too. Where I was like, let me get all my shit. Yeah. I had it through Mojang. I was in alpha. I put all my info in the. Oh, well, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, why? What? This is all my info. I'm like, this is the exact same shit I had. And they're like, oh, well, we, we can't do that. Yeah. Bitch, I paid for this and yeah. played it. I'm going to reach out to Mojang. Get, send me your screen name and I'll give him my screen name. And if we can't reach a fucking, like, good... Someone needs to give an answer on this. Yeah, because what the fuck happened? That's like, some bullshit. And it's like, to think I thought it was only me. But then you're mentioning it. I'm like, okay, so it's not just me, and right? The thing. If I got hacked... Like, that's okay, whatever. I'm out 10 bucks, 20 bucks from the alpha. Yeah, it was not. That's fine. But still. But the fact that I bought it, and I know I bought it, yeah. and I support them all through alpha, and Going then... into fucking beta. Yeah. Yeah, man. Before it got shit crazy the way it is right now. I remember when it was just like, ooh, the nether. Yeah. <laughs> I still have videos of me going... Hey guys, this is me, Victor. Uh, we're about to play some Minecraft today, and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna do some. Oh, fuck it, brother! <laughs> I still get like that playing Minecraft. I'm like, yeah, I just fucking just gonna build this fucking yeah. stone. Just gonna build this. Then like, that was before everybody was like, "Hey guys, this is a TV <laughs> hunter. We're gonna do some Minecraft." Like this was before the whole YouTuber sensation, like. I was right at the beginning of that. Because that's... It's funny, because those times do line up. Yeah. Like, off of Minecraft to YouTube sensation is, like, mm-hmm. level. That's where everything was starting. You know? That's mm-hmm. where, like, all big YouTubers were just starting out, and Minecraft was still enough. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, w- I want to play Minecraft... Without rebuying it. Without rebuying it. 
Yeah. And I should be able to if I know my username. I have my username. And e- password. And then it doesn't work. And then I go into my Mojang. Microsoft account. Microsoft. It's you more Microsoft it now. Yeah, it's, it, you know, you know it's more Microsoft. Right. Mojang's just like, look, man, we're just the name. Yeah. Hey, man, Notch left us. We're still crying over that. Exactly. <laughs> Mojang's like, look, man, we're, we're still hurting over here. Yeah. Take it up with, with Daddy Microsoft. <laughs> Daddy Microsoft. Microsoft's like, fuck you, Mark. Little <laughs> <laughs> buy. <laughs> you want to buy Killer Instinct on our PC store? Ten bucks. I, but I want my Minecraft. Twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, but you want to buy it. Minecraft? Did you say you want to buy Minecraft? <laughs> Did you also want to buy the Master Chief pack? <laughs> we get the collection. Play, you can play as Master Chef. Master Chef with yeah. the various uh, DLCs where he's a connoisseur at a four-star restaurant. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you pay the extra two ninety-nine, you can get Remy from Ratatouille on there. Oh. Uh. I thought Remy Malik from Hit Film. That's four ninety nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's four ninety nine. <laughs> from Hit Film, uh, the Queen movie. <laughs> I couldn't think. God of damn it! From the Queen Bohemian movie. Rhapsody. Okay, yeah. It's named after their most Remy popular Malik from from the Queen movie. <laughs> oh fuck! That's great. Uh, I dig it. I dig it too. Yeah. But yeah, so. We're done with that topic. That was great. Yeah. Some good chuckles. Let us know if you had a chuckle. Yeah. Let us know if we made you chuckle. Yeah. Just Let us know bit. if you're drinking anything. Yeah. What are you drinking? It's good. Yeah. It's actually really good. Oh, yeah. It's super bratty. Mm-hmm. Like, it tastes so much bread. Like, this is like if Kellogg's got grinded up. Yeah. And then, like, put through, like, a ringer. And it got wrung out. And, like, the essence... Of cornflakes. It's just there. Yeah. It's not, but it's not like, uh, the, the way I would say is like not stale. No. Like, like this is almost fresh. Yeah. This is it's like good. living at a bakery. And yeah. You just smell the different smells. And you're right. It's, it definitely reminds me of Little Germany. Yeah. Ooh, man. So good on that. Mm hmm. Uh, I think one more thing I wanted to bring up. Okay. Get your minds get get you get your feedback on this. So officially, now apparently every Activision studio is working on a Call of Duty title or Call of Duty in general. And the reason why that is is pretty much everything up until their newest studio, which was uh, Toys for Bob, which is a studio that made Crash Bandicoot Four and the Insane Trilogy, all that good stuff. They're the studio that made all that, but they're Activision owned. Now, they're working on, I think it's the next season of Warzone. Nice. So that officially means every studio that's under Activision is working on Call of Duty to some extent, whether it be Cold War, whether it be fucking Warzone, or the next DLC, or the season. Or the new Modern Warfare. Yeah, they're all working on Call of Duty to some extent. Which, I, I mean, I guess that's cool. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, going off of most of these... Pretty much studios that Activision owns, Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, High Noons, Radical, I mean, Toys for Bob, Vicarious Visions, Bizarre yeah. Creations, Freestyle, like, the ones that I can't believe are working on, 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 um, Call of Duty, Call of Duty stuff is Beanox, Buttcat, and Freestyles. No, they all are. But besides that, like, oh, and Toys for Bob, but it, it's crazy just because it makes so much sense from a, a, a a money standpoint from uh this is our that's their money it's a bread is and our butter. cash cow this is our bread and butter right now of course we want you to be making mm-hmm. more stuff i mean and granted they're working on i think it's the next season of warzone so that's their biggest bread and butter right now yeah that's their biggest loaf of bread with their finest butter right now mm-hmm. so of course they want all hands Ooh, working on their current baby maker that they want to they want everything to be good. Yeah. And Which I get. That makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. And honestly, if it helps trim down the storage space, if it helps create opt- an, optimized, fucking an optimized game, then I'm all in. I'm, I'm not saying that Activision putting all their eggs in that basket is a bad idea. At least not, you know, not making it permanent. Right. Like, I feel like now that 
all their games have been out and they have nothing else to work on besides the next Call of Duty and Warzone. Yeah. I'm very glad that they're like firing on all cylinders towards Warzone, which could be better, which could be loads better. I could only hope it gets better. I still don't feel it's justified having mm-hmm. that big of a fucking download. Yeah. Because awesome. it's huge. And oh, I it's super huge. still don't feel justified in having to delete two, maybe one big game just to get Warzone on. Mm-hmm. That's still the biggest like turnoff for me on that mm-hmm. game is. God, it's so much for this fucking game. It definitely is. But, I mean, it is good. It's just the fact that there's other games that are good, too, and they aren't nearly as much data-heavy. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, I think you could find that balance. And hopefully, that's where this is going. I can only hope that this is going to help trim those costs, like you said. And, and that's where we get. And maybe that's for the better. Looking at it in a positive light, that's what I'm hoping for. Looking at it in a negative Activision light... <laughs> Holy fuck, Activision. <laughs> Dude, they want money. Like, they yeah. just want so much more money. And I bet you they're going to yeah, put Activision. some dumb fucking crash mm. fucking event or something like that where you get to unlock a skin of a guy with a crash mask on or something like that. Oh, you think? Yeah, dude. In Warzone or some shit? Yeah, dude. Warzone has everything. Warzone, well, they don't have Chun-Li. But as far ah, as, like... So they don't have everything. <laughs> as far as, like, they have movie tie-ins. They have oh, yeah. fucking, yeah. like, other... I think they have other game tie-ins. I'm not sure. But they have fucking... I know the movie tie-ins for sure. They have sweaty-ass, like, pro skins. They have really fucking oh, yeah. stupid, like, funny skins. Like, weed skins and shit like that. I'm not... I'd all surprised if they put something like Crash late related or other Activision it'd be, related. It'd be interesting if they did. Where else would they go? I mean, they just brought Adler and all that shit. Like, I don't know if you you ever at all keep up with what the fuck is going on inside Warzone. But no. in the story, Adler was getting um, one of the cult, Black Ops Cold War people from the oh. 80s was getting... Um, uh what's it called was got caught and he got tortured uh to find some numbers that are gonna help us um, uh, unlock a nuke and then the place got nuked so it's a whole new map uh yeah so that was like their season thing yeah that makes sense and we retrieved adler and we saved him or whatever and he's all beat up and shit and now it's like this new thing is that there's gonna be other people coming in so, like, they're still making some overarching story. So it makes sense that they would put so many people in it. But I'm hoping that what they're working on isn't content, but rather fixing the fucking game. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm I mean, hoping hope there's so, at yeah. least a couple of teams that are working on optimization or that QA. are working on... Yeah. <laughs> like, like put, put a little more effort on some QA here, because like, for fuck's sakes, we need it. There's been invisible glitches. There's been, like, yeah. a fuck ton of fucking glitches. I mean, those have been around since Modern Warfare. Like, Modern Warfare 2, those yeah, types of glitches. So, I mean, I feel like that just comes with the Call of Duty territory. But you're right in, like, this type of setting, you don't want that. Like, multiplayer is one thing, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're, you're probably going to see it. It's kind of hard. But when you're in, like, the Battle Royale set, you don't want that. Because that's completely fucking everyone over. Yeah. You're Instead of fucking over 11 people at a time, you're fucking over 149 people mm-hmm. at a time. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. But, you know, it happens. I'm, I mostly play the multi- multiplayer, so I don't really care. But, okay. I mean, it's still nice to see, like, Warzone people, like, have something. Like, I don't think it's those games that you can play alone. I've played yeah. Warzone alone, because there's, there's a solos. There's a solo queue. Yeah, you queue. can queue in solo, yeah. Yeah, and it's just 150 people against one another. Against And it's you. the fucking <laughs> most campiest bullshit that uh-huh. I've ever fucking seen. And I hate that in video games. I don't like camping in video games. So, it... I was like, this isn't for me. I don't want to get two guns, full armor, hide in a corner for 20 minutes, boom, kill somebody, take his stuff, and then hide in another corner, so that way when they see the dead body, they're like, oh shit, I should be on alert. And by the time they get to me, they'll be like not alerted again, because they're like, well, I guess the person left. Yeah. You know? And those are the type of mind games that you have to play in fucking Warzone, and I don't like that. I don't like I, that. Yeah, that makes sense. I like playing Valorant that's, like, a lot more strategic, 
but you know the like it's a set map and people can hide but you can fucking slowly peek and you can't do that with warzone you're no. gonna have a fucking heart attack if you're just like slow peeking everything if you're fucking being fucking super tactical master xx69 <laughs> like <laughs> you all want that, all want like, that gamer tag now <laughs> <laughs> it's too wild. It's too wild for me. That's why I play Cold War and Valorant. Mm -hmm. I like arena style shooters more. Hey, yeah, and that's that's the difference, right? So I mean, yeah, I, I completely get it, and I can just only hope like with that, like they take that kind of input. Because I I'm positive you're not the only one that said that. Because I, I agree with you too. So I can only hope, like, with that kind of input, they kind of take that in consideration going further. And with all these teams they have working on, obviously, their properties now that they've they just said are all working all hands on deck on fucking Call of Duty titles. Like, some are handing the expansions, some are handing the seasons. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could only hope, like, they improve upon it. And, and I'm sure they will, right? Like, let's we be a little positive hope. about it, right? Yeah. Like, they'll be a little positive about it. We can only hope that they do come through on that, and that that's what all this is for. There, I saved you some. Oh, thank I you. I was going to kill it. Look at all that head. But actually, it looks nice, though, because you got, like, the pub and the crew on that. Yeah. That's actually that's really... Weird. Did you plan that? Yeah. I just did a fucking whatever for it, and I was like, whatever <laughs> happens, happens. That looks like a whatever for <laughs> Yeah. But it worked out, because it's, like, it's perfect, like, the lines with pub and then crew. Mm -hmm. It's nice. But yeah. Oh, so what were we going to circle back to? Um, Soulsborne. Yeah. Right? Like, playing those games online? Yeah. I want a purely single-player experience, and that's all it boils down to. I could only hope... I, I don't know if you've been keeping up with... Uh, there's, like, a new Dark souls S game that's going to be... It's been teased for a while. It's coming out at some point. Elden Ring? Yeah. I can only hope that's what that is. Because it's... It hasn't talked about PvP on that, or like multiplayer, mm -hmm. which Soulsborns have always had some aspect of it. But Elden Ring's obviously lore, heavy lore, like story based, which I love that already. Mm -hmm. It looks great. It's everything I've loved about these games so far. It's a new new IP. I can only hope it continues that and it does stay like solo because you. Those are the types of games you want to get lost. Yeah. Dark, Slo Dark Souls 3 was that, I feel. Because it kind of turned into that. There was a slight PvP aspect, but you didn't need it. Yeah, and for me, like, the whole PvP aspect of Soulsborne games, um, it seems tacked on. <laughs> yeah, and the it's only, not necessary. The only one that I can excuse is due to the thematics of it is Bloodborne. Because it's like, oh, you're getting invaded and it's a nightmare. Like you're you're having a nightmare thrust on you. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that it, that makes sense thematically that through this dream you you've had a nightmare and it's another person that's gonna hunt you down. As far as yeah. like Souls games, are I don't you're talking know the about lore. the one heavy PvP area. Yeah, in, in Bloodborne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that makes sense because it's literally one of the only areas in that game where that's heavy PvP. For that reason, it's because of the Sinister Bell Ringers. Like, they're all for that, and that's the whole area. You can literally end it just by hunting them and killing those Bell Ringers. Yeah. But until then, you will be constantly invaded, or if you're smart, turn yourself offline. Yeah. And they're just going to keep ringing, and not, you won't get invaded. Yeah. Sorry, that's the trick to that. Yeah. <laughs> turn and yourself honestly, offline, you're good. Honestly, I didn't even know, but, like, I never got invaded because I fucking played offline because i didn't want people invading me ever i think i went with it it was just it added to it i and i get that but that's the thing like at that point if i wanted any form of any other interaction with any other human being in a video game i would play a multiplayer game and for me it's like i want to make this a purely single player experience i don't want anybody messing with me you know i don't want anybody hunting me down i i agree and it's it's just funny because i had the worst experience playing demon souls did you ever play demon souls like i played the original? original for a little bit okay so i don't know if you ever came across the one boss that is literally uh, a pvp it's another player did you ever come across that boss no i forget the the area but it's like in, in a tower-esque area where the main boss of 
this area, the, the demon lord, is it's a it's a monk, right? He he's this monk, and that's where the whole iconic mushroom hat came from in the mm-hmm. Soulsborne series. Where I'm sure you've seen it like in Dark Souls and stuff where it's like it looks like a big weird mushroom wrap. Came from this boss, which he essentially summons a random player, an invader. He's a red spirit. He summons a random invader. That's your boss. Mm-hmm. Is it your your boss is just another player. It's some random fucking player. And that's the whole point of that boss, which I, I get the gimmick and I get the aspect of it, which is the whole thing is like you don't know who this boss is. This boss is just summoned from the bigger boss. Yeah. Granted, the way around it is if you go offline, he summons a monk, which you just make. Like he's called something. I forget his name. But he he essentially just summons this enemy that looks like an invader, but he looks like any of the other pre-rendered invaders that you could come across. Like yeah. you're gonna see him. Yeah. And it's just he's the boss. And mm-hmm. you can make quick work of him. But the whole challenge of that boss literally is supposed to be you're supposed to be online you're supposed to be fighting some random person online and you don't know who you're gonna get Mm -hmm. and i died three times to that one because the first guy went up against whoever that was i wish i remember the name he had a very particular build that wrecked me for all the wrong reasons because of course i wouldn't big boy so i was actually doing work i almost had him but he had this build that was literally he did all these weird ass little things and just like a stab here and a little stab there broke all my armor broke all my weapons uh i was poisoned uh i was cursed i had every fucking ailment you could think of on me and just by these little things he whatever little hits he landed on me did all that damage to me and then over encompassed me for some reason and i was like that's fucked. Why is that fucked? Because, of course, once the fight was over, I had to go fix all my shit. Damn. It didn't just stay exclusive to the encounter. Yeah. It was, that all happened. Yeah. You died. Now you have to deal with it. So I'm yeah. like, great, now I have to go get some souls. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm just happy you didn't run into that same player again and again. Yeah, because the next guy I think I died to because there's there's a weird glitch in that arena where you can go out of bounds. I ended up out of bounds. So I technically lost. Yeah. I was like, that's not fair. Yeah. This is the remake. I don't know why this is, exists, but okay. And the third guy, it was like almost a fair fight because he was using a big sword too. So we were both like, all right. Yeah. All right. Who's going to hit who? Yeah. First? <laughs> it was big boy versus big boy. And I ended up winning that one. But I was like, that was the whole point, where it's like, you don't know who you're going to get. It's You're just going to be fighting some random person. I mm-hmm. get it. And that's where, I guess, the online aspect comes into play a lot. But do you need it? No. In fact, I... And I feel like I've heard other people comment on this like this, where... I feel that was, like, the laziest boss they could have made. Because it wasn't, like, a boss they made. There was other creative bosses throughout that whole game. They were mm-hmm. all memorable. But this one's like, oh, it's just... It's, it could be any NPC. What if I'm not playing online? Well, well, then it's this boss. And he's easy. Like, you can make work of him. So then what was the point? That was... Yeah. The, you could have made a better boss. Yeah. So you kind of just slacked off in, in hopes that another... Like, another player was going to be the better threat. Better threat here. Which they usually are. But that shouldn't be your your boss. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I can get that. I mean, if it's designed that way, that's one thing. But when it's just fucking invaders, like randomly, I mean, I guess it's designed that way too. But like, fuck, it just but it, it's does, an it detracts. It detracts from, at least for me, it detracts from the experience because like, what's how did this invader get here at all? He just invaded you. Exactly. Like yeah, like it makes sense in fucking Bloodborne because it's literally a nightmare. Yeah, where it's like yeah, there's all these sinister bell ringers that are just summoning them, and you're like, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> to this area and there hasn't been an area before this that's like this yeah so this makes perfect sense like you're, you're right but when it's like that boss was like oh this is an npc it's like you could have just made a boss yeah yeah you could have made a better boss <laughs> i want to add stamarindo to this is that weird you don't know i don't think it'd take away from it i think yeah. it'd be it'd be interesting right yeah Talindo with this yeah i think it'd be good 
like it's just because it's like so like weedy and bready and i'm just like spicy like it'd help help out just a bit right yeah i don't don't think it'd take away from it i I think this would that'd be a good uh, good addition Hmm. i don't have time no i apologize that's fine I'm like, I don't go Nick, around expecting people to have tamarindo in their fucking homes. Right? <laughs> Fuck, man. But I've been to the homes where they got it on deck. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, tamarindo, like, you want some? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tamarindo, tajin, yeah. everything. They got a whole pantry for one of my, I'm yeah. sorry, my pantry's not that. Yeah. No, it's fine. But it'd be good. You're yeah. right. I think that'd be a good addition to this. Mm-hmm. It'd be super fucking great. Do you have a favorite esports team? I... No. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, let's no. go. Cool. Team 100 Thieves, baby! <laughs> Official eSport supported by Pub Crew. Yeah, woo! 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves! Thie- yeah. <laughs> it's got your boy Hiko, got Asuna. Big got Boys sporting Big Boys. Steel. Or the Slim Thick Boys. Yeah, Slim Thick Boys. We got uh, you. Well, actually, I don't know if you know the name Nate Shot, but he's the one that created uh, 100 Thieves. He no. was a huge... Like old school player. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, really follow e- esports. I should. Yeah. I should. I just. I don't. And, and it's not for any like reason. Like oh, hey, it's just. I don't know because I don't know where to go j- jump yeah. in. Yeah. And be like, oh, this is where I need to be. And I feel like I've been watching something that's been a waste of time. Yeah, it, God damn it. It just depends on like what game you want to be into. Yeah, like, that's true. As too. far as like for me, I, I know on the the fighting scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I know like the fighting scene fighters. I know who like I know those fighters, but that's kind of different. Yeah, because they're not teams. Those are yeah, and the, that's taking a backseat to me because the more I've been playing Valorant, the more I'm like I'm fucking yeah. See, because these are I leagues. These I know teams. Daigo. <laughs> see, see that that makes more sense, and that's different because I'm like, well, yeah. these are teams. I don't know who's a good good team. That's, yeah. that's a whole different beast, to be honest with yeah, you. So I'm like, exactly. I, I don't know where to go, who to follow. But yeah, I guess it depends on the game too. Yeah, so I mean, definitely because you have League of Legends, you have mm-hmm. Valorant, you have Dota, you have like Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Halo, Apex, Apex every every fucking competitive game under the sun, Auto game. Chess. Like everything like that. Oh, like, yeah, dude. Right. It's super crazy. Cycling, e cycling. Really? Yeah. Uh wow. some guy got banned for that for e doping. What? Yeah. He bought a bot that let him go up a hill at a certain amount of speed. Oh bitch. Yeah, that's fucking And up. he didn't have to do it. And he unlocked a a cycle that gave him an edge on one of the races. Because he, and since he, he didn't, didn't earn it. And since he didn't earn it, they stripped him of all his winnings. Hey, but they do that same shit in Pokemon though. Yeah. Like like for, for like Pokemon, like I know that shit. That's right. I'm I'm showing my true colors here. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like the actual like Pokemon, like when you when you you can EV train or, or Ivy train a fucking Did you break my tip? No, I just kicked it and like I saw the reverberation float <laughs> all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah. Like like I know like when they had I'm sure they still do have them. It's been a minute, but like when you you would play those games, you can IV train a Pokemon, whatever you want. That's fine, as long as it's legit. Cause there's legit ways to do it, and then there's not legit ways. And I know there was a time where there was bots or programs you could use that were really hard to detect from like the judges that could scan your shit and be like, okay, this is legit Pokemon. This is legit. Be like, mm, this isn't a legit Pokemon. But if they found one legit, one non-legit Pokemon, you were fucking DQ. How do they know the other ones? For all they know, the other ones were not yeah. legit too. You were just clever. Mm. But if you were, if if any of them ever came up like that, you were like DQ'd automatically. Damn. And it, I mean, it's the same thing. Like there's bosses, there's programs for that too, where it could just catch whatever Pokemon you want. You had to have legit catch the Pokemon, or yeah. got it legit traded from someone or somewhere, because some of them are kind of exclusives. But at the same time, there's people that you don't know if that person before you used the program to get that Pokemon, and then they just traded it to you. Yeah. In fact, that was the workaround. It was like, hey, you use this program to go get such and such Pokemon. You catch it, then you trade it to me, because then it shows traded by so-and-so. Cool. But then they could still show that Pokemon came from a mm. program that wasn't legit. So, yeah, I, I, I get that. Like... But they would see that, and yeah, they'd strip you with that yeah. right away. And yeah. Nintendo would be like, fuck you, get out of here, man. 
There's kids playing this. So, yeah. So, like, fucking getting into esports is so crazy. And I recommend it now more than ever. Just because, like, it's, now it's that we're a, getting... It's a big group now. Like, yeah. it's a big following now. So, it's actually really something to look into. Mm-hmm. I, I really should. I just... Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll talk about this. Like, no. <laughs> exactly. Because, like, we start looking at my favorite teams. Like, Valorant, 100 Thieves all the way. But then we go into, like, CSGO, and I love Hellraisers, which is not a a league tier team. Uh, at least they haven't been performing that way for a while. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. But I love the team. As far as, like, League of Legends go, I do love Cloud9. You know, okay. I, I like different fucking teams based on the sport just because of the people who are there. That makes sense. Yeah, so it's, it's super crazy to get into, but it's super fun <clears throat> because... Excuse me. When you get into one game, you sort of start understanding, like, who's behind the organization and, like, who who's really, like, the key players and everything. Or who you're supposed to look out for. Well, you like see, that, that makes sense, because I play just a lot of Destiny 2, and there's just no room for that in that game. <laughs> Dude. There's no room for teams like that or, like, a league in that game. It makes because... me sad that Destiny 2 doesn't have a pro league. Look at their PvP system, bro. That's exactly why they don't have a pro or team. And here's the thing. I hate that their ranks is 3v3. I hate that their rank is 3v3. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's fun, right? Mm -hmm. But at some point, when you want to do more than that, you're you're, you're shit, right? Yeah. You can't do more. Like, there is 6v6, but that's not their pro league. Yeah. That's just like a clash. I think regular. From almost... First person shooter games, the sweet spot for uh, people is four to six. Yeah. And you know what's funny is a lot of my, like, the, the guys that I play with, when we want to do shit like that, we, there's usually maybe five to six of us always online at the, at any given time when we're trying to play. Mm-hmm. So we always talk about we have to do these activities. We could do Crucible, but it'll always be uh, Valor, not Glory. Yeah. Glory is the ranked one. So you can't do that because that's just 3v3. So now we're stuck either doing maybe Gambit or just uh, Control or something like that, right? Yeah. Where we're like, we want to do more. But if you had more, like on the glory aspect, yeah. we and then that'd be more interesting, right? That would. It would definitely. I would and join that's what back. We've been saying like that'd be a lot more interesting. I to would do play that the shit. game. I would be so. It would definitely change it up. I okay. love. I love fucking Bungie's aiming mechanics and i love yeah. <laughs> like i love the way that they work through everything and the movement and the aiming the controls are so smooth like buttery smooth and it just kills me that there's not a i mean you could always go into fucking game battles but you know yeah. that's been around since 2005 exactly like that's different though. <laughs> you could you could do that but like there shouldn't have to be a separate workaround yeah, it should be in your game. Which is, you should you want this? Which is fucking hilarious because you look at Counter Strike and Counter Strike. You need a, a third party system because you have unranked. Yeah, uh, you have ranked in game, and then you have Face It, which is a third yeah. party system that actually lets you queue into a different MMR system, and those are the ones that people usually take seriously. Yeah, not their actual rank queue system. in yeah, it's, the game. It's the third party. It's a great way to learn how to play the game, mm-hmm. but. Use that third party, and you'll you'll be playing against people who are trying to be pros, people who are hopefuls, and oh, that tells you something. Yeah, but I don't think Bungie needs that. Bungie shouldn't need to do that. Yeah, they, they could do it in game. I feel like if they really, and that's why it amazes me because I feel like a lot of Destiny players are PVE fans. Yeah, they don't really have anything for the PvP people. Like, there's no PvP youtubers for destiny 2 that i can name off the top of my head like besides oh. hush baby oh, maybe yeah hush baby maybe um besides them that post regularly like this is me playing ranked this is yeah. me playing comp like a lot of it's raid strike nightfall Dr- grandmaster night which is all mm-hmm. P- pve or if you find some crazy fucking build for pvp you go play pvp with that crazy build and mm-hmm. that's it you don't have a person that's going through comp because yeah, if you try to weekend you because if that. you try to fucking record that it's so fucking grueling and so mm-hmm. disheartening yeah someone trying to go flawless on a week on a trials weekend and they're like oh i'm, tr- I'm trying to go flawless and yeah 
That's it's it's gonna be a shit show. Yeah, more than likely because so... you're gonna get maybe three wins in, and then you're gonna come across that other team that's already been flawless, and then you're probably gonna be fucked. Mm-hmm. And there's not much you can do about that. <laughs> you're a team that's already like been flawless, and you're you're just gonna get mm-hmm. ganked every fucking exactly. round. And like, I don't want to play the meta just to make just it... to win, yeah. right? Just to even get there like mm-hmm. you don't want to play the meta you shouldn't have to play yeah, the meta but that's the way it is and that's why I'm, I'm super disheartened with destiny i don't think there's ever going to be a way that they can fix it i've been given shit for not trying to play the meta not by my people like not by like the people i play with if we get a rando in there you get shit by like oh you're not yeah. using this why aren't you using this like i don't want to fucking use yeah, that but it's better I don't give if, a you're, shit. if you're not using it you're you're a detriment to the team well, then fuck, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, the way it goes. Well, then man. I guess that's where we are right yeah, now, right, exactly. man? Shit, I'm the asshole. Yeah. It's like, fuck, man. Like, I don't... Just let me play. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man, I paid for this game just the same as you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me enjoy it. Yeah, well, that's all I wanted to say. I, I feel like... I mean, I feel like I've talked about that before, but... We have, but I mean, like, we, I think we just established that on, like, the competitive level as far as, like, the E-Leagues and stuff, so that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. It's good to know where we are on that. And I, I, I'm i actually going to try and look more into that. More, more into E-Leagues and actually try and like yeah. follow a team. I'll, dude, I'll, I'll send you some stuff. 100 yeah. Thieves, 100 Thieves Valorant. I don't care. Yeah, about and then I'll, know, then I'll be like, oh, yeah, this is fucking good. <laughs> yeah, dude. <I'll> do <laughs> so that. I can actually know where to jump in and be like, oh, this is fucking I'll shoot you some videos right now. And with that, <laughs> we are probably going to end this right now. Thank you yeah, so much good. for joining us this week. Once again, at pub crew podcast here every week doing it big on the main stage slim thick slim thickens Mm -hmm. uh we hope you have a wonderful week remember let us know if you want to invest in half chubs oh yeah half chubs is definitely (laughs) a thing that's happening uh if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down below we love you take care everybody see you later go to work Go to sleep. Go do hey, the thing. drink some water. Yeah, drink some water before you drink you that other it. beer. Yeah. Yeah, please. Like it's gonna help. It's gonna soften the headache. Yeah, yep. See you later. Oh, I was just doing I was ending the Richard Nixon. Yeah. I was doing a Japanese schoolgirl. You were doing I did Richard something Nixon. different. Yeah. I did Richard Nixon. Yeah. Nixkin? Nixkin. <laughs> Richard Nixkin. Gone too deep, Vicky. That was funny. <laughs>